Aloha, it's Kiana, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, huge mahalo to Long's Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long's Drugs for all your shopping needs. A 19-year-old New Valley man has been sentenced to life in prison for the attempted murder of a 17-year-old girl on Kahala Beach. A circuit court judge sentenced Eric Willis to life in prison with the possibility of parole for the 2020 stabbing of Melia Kalahiki. Willis was also ordered to pay more than $83,000 to the state's MedQuest division to cover Kalahiki's medical bills. In April, a jury found Willis guilty of second-degree attempted murder in what was described as a random attack. Kalahiki was sunbathing when she was attacked from behind and stabbed 15 times, suffering wounds to her neck, right shoulder, and hands. Even though he was wearing a mask during the trial, Kalahiki was able to identify Willis by his eyes, eyebrows, and complexion. Willis's attorney plans to appeal. State Representative Matthew Lopresti has been charged for an alleged drunk driving incident last month. Honolulu police officers said they smelled alcohol in Lopresti's breath before they arrested him on the night of June 16th. Officers saw the state lawmaker's vehicle parked on the shoulder lane of Fort Weaver Road with its hazard lights on. When they asked whether he was okay, Lopresti reportedly said he was stopped because of a disagreement he had with another person. An unidentified woman was in the car at the time. Lopresti declined to take a field sobriety test and was arrested on suspicion of drunk driving. He is scheduled to enter a plea during an arraignment hearing on Monday. Lopresti represents Eva Villages, Ocean Point, and Eva Beach and is running for re-election this year as the district's only Democratic candidate. Former President Donald Trump today announced on his Truth social platform that his first wife, Ivana Trump, has died. Trump called Ivana, quote, a wonderful, beautiful, and amazing woman who led a great and inspirational life. She is the mother of Trump's oldest children, Don Jr., Ivanka, and Eric. The Czech-born skier turned businesswoman and model married the future president in 1977. During their marriage, Ivana took on various roles in the Trump organization and became an icon with her signature 80s style. The two were a publicity power couple in the 1980s and were fixtures in New York's elite scene until their divorce in 1992. Years after the messy split, Ivana remained friendly with her ex-husband and backed his 2016 White House run. She was married four times and pursued business ventures, most recently promoting an Italian weight loss diet in 2018. She was 73 years old. Hurricane Darby is on track to pass south of the Hawaiian Islands this weekend, but the storm continues to weaken as it crosses the Pacific. According to the Central Pacific Hurricane Center in Honolulu, the center of Darby was about 870 miles east of Hilo at 11 o'clock this morning. It is currently packing maximum sustained winds near 100 miles per hour as it moves west at about 16 miles per hour. Darby is forecast to significantly weaken over the next 48 hours. It is expected to become a post-tropical cyclone when it passes a few hundred miles south of the Big Island on Saturday. Forecasters from the National Weather Service of Honolulu say locally strong trade winds will bring heavier showers over the windward side of the Big Island and possibly Maui on Saturday. A new Mountain West format will bump longtime rivals off the University of Hawaii football team schedule. The 12-team Mountain West is scrapping the format of two six-team divisions starting with the 2023 season. Instead, the conference will have just one division through 2025. Previously, Mountain and West division winners would meet in a title game. With the change, the championship will pair the two teams that have the highest winning percentages. The new format means UH will not face Fresno State in 2023, ending a 31-year streak. The UH-San Jose State rivalry will pause in 2024 after 11 seasons. And Hawaii will not face Nevada in 2025 after playing each other for 24 years in a row. UH will play San Diego State and UNLV all three seasons. The new format appears to be timed with the end of the Mountain West TV contracts with Fox Sports and CBS Sports. For a full league schedule, head over to the Star Advertiser's website. 
For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.